in Alabama around Thanksgiving time, before we get to the table, the first thing that really comes to mind is the Turkey Day Classic between Tuskegee University and Alabama State University. What's up, HBCU Game Day family? It's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and I'm live in Montgomery, Alabama for one of the oldest rivalries in HBCU Classic history. Established in 1924, the Turkey Day Classic was a game that used to hold both of Alabama's most prestigious HBCU football powerhouses. But this year, both teams have not found the success that they both would like to. Alabama State comes in with a record of four and six, while Tuskegee, <sighs> my Tuskegee Tigers come in at three and seven. That hurts. That really hurts when you play for Tuskegee. Whoa. Okay, let's get to some football. Tuskegee came out trying to use the ground attack, but the Hornets had that sold up from the dough. Joe Owens Jr. got the start today for Alabama State, and they came out utilizing the ground attack as well. Throughout the day, we will see that Alabama State's ground attack was more successful than Tuskegee. Alabama State cracked the scoreboard first with a four-yard run by Ja'Cory Merritt. ASU 7, Tuskegee 0. As the game continued early on, you saw that the ASU team was ready to play on all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So when Tuskegee came back out, they tried to use the run game again. Williams tried to hand off to Patterson, and once again, the Hornets were right there to sting in the backfield. What's a Turkey Day Classic without a controversial call? So right here we had ours, and Tuskegee actually got this in their favor. A lot of Tuskegee fans say there is one call in particular from the past they wish that they can get back. The Hornets defense continued to swarm. Right here, number 46, red shirt freshman Jake Howard, he got in the backfield and he caused a little havoc. He records the sack on the season finale. In the absence of all swag and All-American running back Ezra Gray, Alabama State didn't miss a beat on the ground game today. They used multiple running backs. Number 36 right here, Dontre Manley, he had two amazing runs and he showed that he'd be in the weight room a lot. Alabama State capitalized on this drive, ending it with a six-yard pass from Owens to Joshua Knight. Alabama State goes up 14-0. Tuskegee ended up punting the ball right here, and they had good coverage. I only want to show this right now because later on, I think the coverage might have a breakdown. But that's later on, and we'll get to that. Right here, Owens drops back. He hits the UAB transfer, Tevin Sharp, with a nice pass, and he does the rest. He takes off, he takes all his energy that he has to make it all the way to the one. Tuskegee's defense stood strong, and they held ASU to just three points. After that, Tuskegee blocked the punt, and it turned into a safety, giving them two more points, and then ASU came back out and hit a 31-yard field goal to go up at half, 20 to two. At halftime, the Tuskegee Marching Crimson Pipers came out and they put on a show. And, you know, when we're at the Turkey Day Classic, we're in Montgomery, ASU as well put on a show. What a sight at halftime, but let's get back to the game. Coming back from halftime, Tuskegee got on the board very quick, scoring on a 43-yard pass from Bryson Williams to O'Neal. Tuskegee 9, ASU 20. In the second half, both teams made defensive adjustments, so the scoring kind of slowed up. Alabama State had Tuskegee pinned up against the one-yard line, and they forced a punt. Speaking of punts, I mentioned earlier, special teams was a big part of Alabama State, and nonetheless, they took one to the house. Number 87, Robert McMinn, fields the punt, and he has plans on going home to the house, to the apartments. He cribs the kick, 37-yard punt return. Alabama State goes up 27-9, but then a 31-yard field goal extends their lead to 30-9. Tuskegee University continued to put up a fight. Williams drops back and finds his receiver for a nice pickup. Tuskegee fumbled the ball, and it turned out to be a two-yard run for Ja'Cory Merritt. ASU goes up 36-9 in the fourth quarter. Thank you. 
Dontre Manley put the nail in the coffin though in the fourth quarter with 50 seconds left. He had a 40 yard run to the house. ASU went up 43 to nine. Strike the band up. Time to strike the band up. Cut the bus on. Your final from the 2021 Turkey Day Classic, Alabama State, 43, Tuskegee University, 9. Once again, it's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and you're watching HBCU Game Day. Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all, it's game day.